In the beginning, books were seen as a symbol of wealth and status among the American colonies. But as they grew, so did the time for reading. It was no longer just a symbol of status, but now its object for leisure, really. Books became the gateway to escape the harsh realities of life and bring us a sense of peace, as well as much needed guidance through the use of words and sometimes imagery. Books also create understanding of various topics, such as the afterlife. Take Dante's Divine Comedy, for instance, which shaped the modern understanding of hell and the afterlife. It's modern age and day, newspapers have seen a state of disrus- disruptive transition, thanks in part to new technologies such as the internet. But yet, it still thrives. Just like a cockroach, it is hard to kill. Today, the newspaper is still important to society as they give the silent a voice to be heard by many and offers protection through the use of journalism. Magazines started off as news of social movements and whatnot, but soon came the woman's suffrage movement. And, as a result, advertisers saw a way to make some money. Perfect outlet to be read by a large national audience as well as a very, very niche one. Magazines are to advertisers as Bionicle was to 2000s kids. Speaking of toys and magazines, magazines bring a major outlet to children and those who enjoy entertainment. 